Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your boy Aves. God, my voice. We gotta fix this. <clears throat> hey guys, what's going on? That didn't do anything. That didn't that didn't make it any better. <sighs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your boy Aves coming to you with another music video reaction. I apologize for my low tone, my voice. I, I think I just need to keep it as low as I can. I don't know how that's going to work. I always get too excited about stuff, so I, I maybe I, I, I don't know how that's, I don't know how that's going to work, y'all, but we'll figure it out. See, look, I just did it. Today, we are going to be reacting to TXT's Sugar Rush Ride. It's one that I have been waiting for, for a while, and it's been out for like 11 days, so I'm happy, I'm excited, I'm ready to get into it, because I love me some TXT. But before we do, if you love my channel, you love what you see, you enjoy the content, all that good stuff, feel free to subscribe to my channel, Moonlight Antonio, where we give you reactions, K-pop, and inspiration from under the beautiful Moonlight, as well as hitting. I don't know how loud that is. Hitting that bell for notifications so that you can be alerted to my next upload. Now, let's get into this. Let's get into TXT. Yes, I'm being real quick. I'm being real quick. Let's get into it now. There we go. Whew. Mm. I love the uh, bright the bright feeling I'm getting from this. Especially considering it's winter time still. Oh, I like it. I might be a little bit more quiet for, for a minute just because I wanna get a feel for the song. I really do love TXT's vocals too. Oh my god. <laughs> Interesting. It's very seductive. Oh wow. Oh, wow. I love the scenery. I love the music choices, too. I love... Wow. This song is really good. Oh, my God. Why do I like it so much? Wow. Huh. I love that the devil said part. I really love that. Wow. I'm I'm just taking it in, y'all. Oh wow. Um Wow, okay. That's... Uh, okay, um, y'all give me a minute here. Give me a minute. Give me a minute to process. 
So, okay. I don't know. There were glimpses. And I'm, I might be a little late on this. I might be a little late on this. Um, why does Tae Young? Why does Tae Young? <laughs> okay, look, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I got a tad emotional towards the end because I noticed something and I mentioned, I said Tae Young's name and I'm sure that a lot of you are probably aware of why because you probably have felt the same way. I'm just coming to the conclusion of this or the realization of this. Why does he look to me like Jung Hyun? <laughs> he looks, he resembles him a little bit. It's weird because like Jung Hyun has very distinct facial features. So it's like to see someone look like a person who is no longer here, who you loved, and they're in a five member group just like that person was. I don't know if it was the pink hair or if it was uh, more than that. I, I don't want to spend too much time trying to figure that out right now because I, I have nothing prepared to figure that out. Well, kind of, I kind of do actually, I kind of do. I'm gonna look it up. I'm going to look it, I'm going, oh wow. Oh, well, oh. <laughs> what? People actually think that. That, no, I, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm not, wow, that actually does look like Jonghyun a little bit. Wow, it's, it's true. It's true. Oh wow, that's n oh okay. All right, I'm gonna put my phone down before I get before I get. Uh, wow, okay. There are people that actually think that I'm not crazy. He does. He looks like Jungkook a little bit. That's not me trying to hope or something. He does. He really does. I, that caught me at the end. That at the very end when when I saw uh, the close-ups of him, it I got a flash of Jungkook and it was just like whoa from the She Is era. And I was just like, D by the way, can I just take a moment and praise the song? I have to. I heard different musical elements within this song that was very, how do I say this? It was creative, it was experimental, it was, I don't have words to describe what I just heard. I have no words to describe this. I'm trying. I'm trying, but I'm not I'm not doing a very good job. Uh, and I, I know I won't. There's something about this song that... That's so strange. He does kind of resemble him a little bit. It's strange. Okay, let me get off. I gotta get off of that. But there's some, there's some elements about this song that y'all, I, I don't fully understand, but it's so, it's so neat. And I wasn't even watching it on top, tip top quality, which is funny. Not funny, but funny. There are elements of this song, the, and the devil said, and it goes into the, the chorus. What was that? What was that? That was seductive. It was tempting. It was everything that the devil is or that the devil presents. I say that not with respect to the devil, but like with respect to how they, how the song has been constructed. It's very seductive. But then there's this brighter element at the beginning, like when you hear the verses. You hear the guitar, you hear, you know, acoustic guitar, you hear these different elements. If I close my eyes, and I'm not, this is not, look, look, guys, I'm sorry. I, I have to say this. I have to say this, and some people might, I, I, gotta, I gotta say this. If I close my eyes, I could imagine, like, this being a modern shiny song. Because there's, there's some elements about this that's very experimental that I can't deny is there and it's exciting to hear that kind of thing coming from a fourth gen group i just you know you hear so much of noise music now you hear so much of hard hitting you know banger music then you hear something like this and mind you i think girl groups have this kind of music sometimes but when you see a guy group tackling it having music like this I don't know, man. I don't know. There's something about it. It's just, it's just there's a beauty. There's a beauty in it. It's it's not it's not the typical K-pop song. It's I don't know, y'all. This song is ugh, It's got me. 
It's got me. Sugar Rush Ride. Wow. Okay. I know I know I know what I need to do. I know what I need to look for. Uh you have my like. Not that it matters. It has 1.6 million without me. But wow. I, I don't even know exactly how to say uh anything else about the, the song. Like I would have to go through a thorough examination of the music, how it was done, you know, all that stuff. And uh, I do look a little tired. I, I do look tired. Um, I do. You guys watch Naruto, right? You know, uh, what's his name? Itachi has those little lines going down. Yeah, I literally have Itachi lines coming down. You know, Itachi was under a lot of stress too. So, you know, that, that might be why. Uh, a lot of stress in his life. <laughs> Getting off topic. Let me get back on topic. The clothes style, the fashion style, I, I just... Uh. First of all, let me go back because the beginning of this of this song starts off on this beach and you know it's winter time and you know so many people are waiting for spring. We're waiting to go back to the, the beach at times and all that stuff. And I know it's not that time right now. He's sitting there on the sand and there's water there. I don't I don't know. I could I could be totally wrong. There might be some CGI put put in there or whatever. Um but it just the the vibe of the song is just like you hear that. I don't know, there's something about that. That right there. That that vibe. It reminds me of I don't know why I'm going back to good evening. It reminds me of good evening in a way, uh with that kind of vibe. But then you hear the and the devil said part and it's just like goes into like something way more seductive. It's like it's like the true nature behind the bright, sunny, shiny uh, concept that they're showing. And it's all deceptive. It's all to lure you in. And then when the devil speaks, you're, you, he's got you. And that's what this gives me. That's what he that's what this gives me. And they did that well. They portrayed that so well, so well. Like, there's nothing I can say. There's nothing I can say. And I'm just still wrestling with the fact that Taehyung looks very much like Jonghyun in many ways. And it's freaking me out a little bit. Yeah. Anyway, I'm done. I'm done. Uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments. Um, this was a beautiful MV. I know I say that a lot, but God have mercy, this was good. The song... I, I'm gonna listen to this album. I got to listen to this album. I've got to. I've got to. I, it's, ugh. <sighs> TXT, man. This is the new... Uh, I don't want to say that. I don't, I don't, I don't want to say that. But I... You know, this is the shiny of fourth gen. I'll put it that way. And I know some people would say that shiny is the shiny of fourth gen and every other generation after or before. And I, I totally understand that. But as far, but from a perspective of the younger generation, you know, taking over, this is definitely the shiny. And I'm not saying that because Taehyun looks like Jonghyun. I'm not saying that because of that. I'm saying that because their music, they have literally been doing uh, somewhat experimental stuff. Now, I do think that, uh, well, I, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there. I have, I have a bit of a complaint. I'm not going to do that in this video. I'm gonna leave it on a high note. These guys did amazing. And uh, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, y'all. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Uh, I'm done. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more content from your boy. And it will be your boy Abe's tired and with my Tachi tired lines. Signing out. Peace. Love you guys. I should have did this when I said peace. Bye. Y'all.